Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout. Today I am here to talk about the new Intel Core i7 4790K processor. Now this is a Haswell architecture part. No changes on the architecture, no changes in kind of IPC or architectural performance. Uh, but Intel did make some changes in this. This is the processor codenamed Devil's Canyon that you may have heard about over the last couple of months. And what they did here with this is they actually changed the thermal interface material between the die and the heat spreader. It is now an NG, well, it's a next generation polymer thermal interface material, as they say, which should improve the transfer of heat from the die to the heat spreader and then from the heat spreader to your cooler thus lowering temperatures and improving overclockability. They also added some new capacitors to the back that are supposed to smooth out power delivery to the processor, again, with the hopes of enabling higher clock speeds. Speaking of clock speeds, this is the 4790K, uh, which is obviously very close related to the 4770K. The difference, though, is you get 500 megahertz of additional clock speed out of the box. So the base clock speed of this part is 4 gigahertz, and the turbo clock is 4.4 gigahertz compared to the Core i7-4770K that runs at 3.5 gigahertz base and 3.9 gigahertz at its turbo clock speed. So clearly a 500 megahertz frequency boost for a stock clock processor, even on the same architecture, is going to result in some significant performance advantages. As I tested it out of the box, we saw anywhere from 7 to 14 percent depending on the application, depending on the thread, uh, the thread capability of it, you know, video encoding, uh, rendering, those scaled very well. Some of the other applications that were less heavily threaded actually still scaled because you are getting uh, additional performance even at single threaded workload. So I think overall the 4790K is uh, clearly a superior processor for other Haswell parts on the market. And even better, the price tag of this processor is set to be $339, which is the exact same price that the 4770K sells for today. So Intel, in an attempt to kind of re-engage with gamers, re-engage with enthusiasts that may have felt uh, slighted by their move into low power, low uh, power consumption devices and platforms, uh, is kind of offering a, 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 a goodwill gesture, if you will, in the form of this part. Maybe not as good as many consumers would want, but this is still actually pretty nice. So um, overclocking capability was something we were curious to test as well, and that's really where a lot of people were hoping that this processor would shine. Now, we were sent a sample from Intel, uh, and we only had one processor, so overclocking is obviously going to vary from part to part. I was only able to hit 4.7 gigahertz on all cores, uh, and it took a voltage of 1.36 volts to get there. Now that's not a particularly good overclock, even for standard Haswell processors, and we kind of expected more from the Haswell Devil's Canyon parts. I have a 4770K part here that's actually one of the best processors we've seen in a while, and it runs at 4.8 gigahertz at 1.25 volts. Now all this testing, both the 4770K and the 4790K were done on an Asus Z97 Deluxe motherboard. Um, so changes there, you know, we're, we're doing apples to apples comparisons, I guess is what I'm saying. So we weren't actually able to get as high of an overclock on the 4790K as we did with the 4770K. That's not a complete statement on Devil's Canyon parts completely, right? Because we only have one sample. Uh, it really is going to take the community to start to buy these processors, to test them, and to kind of give us an idea of what range we expect for these updated Devil's Canyon parts versus traditional Haswell CPUs. Uh, a sample size of one is not enough to make a definitive statement. It's very possible and maybe even likely that our part was happens to be one of the lower performing of the Devil's Canyon uh, variety. So keep that in mind. Even though our overclocking results weren't super impressive, there's a lot of uh, a testing and evaluation to be done, both by us, other review sites, and the community at large. Even taking overclocking out of the picture, uh, the, the 4790K is my new favorite processor, right? So for $339, and it goes on sale towards the end of June, but if you look at Amazon and Newegg and Micro Center, they're all doing pre-orders for it anywhere with shipping times listed as June 20th or so. You can pick it up for $339. If you already have a Haswell processor, I don't think the performance advantages or the overclocking headroom you get with the 4790K are worth purchasing, but if you've kind of been waiting, uh, for a reason to upgrade, or you've got an Ivy Bridge, or you've got a Sandy Bridge, or you've got something even prior to that, I think 
the 4 gigahertz base clock and 4.4 gigahertz turbo clock at essentially the same power levels are going to be worth the uh, the upgrade here. It does require a Z97 motherboard though. Um, well, it requires a Z97 motherboard according to Intel, but some motherboard manufacturers like Asus are actually kind of adding in support for Devil's Canyon to Z87 platforms. So check your particular board and manufacturer if they happen to uh, have maybe gone back and updated the BIOS or UEFI for support for the 4790K. There is another Devil's Canyon part, the 4690K, which is a quad-core non-hyper-threaded part. It only offers a 100 megahertz improvement over the 4670K. It is the same price. It has all the other advantages, the thermal interface change, the capacitor uh, additions as well. But it's not nearly as tempting of a part considering you're only getting a 100 megahertz boost as opposed to a 500 megahertz boost with the 4790k if you want to see all of our benchmarks and the full analysis of our overclocking testing go to pcper.com we've got the link to that review in the description below we've got links to amazon where you can find this processor on pre-order as well and then let me know in the comments what you guys think do you think that uh, the 4790k is an upgrade worthy part is it uh, kind of a disappointment based on our overclocking results let me know what you think i'm curious to see what uh, not just you guys but the entire community of hardware enthusiasts finds with these parts thanks for watching everybody See you soon.